Hey folks, this is Adam from Rails Auto Scale, and today I want to dig into a tweet from Josh Pigford of Bear Metrics. So he was working with uh, Heroku and Rails in Postgres, um, and he was getting a connection timeout error in Sidekick. Dig into this, take a look at this here. Um, active record connection timeout error. This is definitely an error that I've seen a lot. Um, I think it trips a lot of folks up. And uh, I want to dig in and see if we can reproduce it and resolve it. So first thing I want to do to reproduce the error is get a Rails app running on Heroku with Sidekick. I have a little demo app um, that is good for this that's ready to go on Heroku, and it's got a deploy to Heroku button. So we are just going to do that. We'll give it a name. We're going to change this. Josh in his tweet said that Rails max threads was five, web concurrency two, and he had sidekicks concurrency set to 15. We're going to set sidekick concurrency to 15, match that, and we're good. So now it is deploying the application. It'll take about two to three minutes to deploy this application. All right, our app was successfully deployed. We can go ahead and take a peek at it. Um, so by default, it starts up a web dyno. We need a worker dyno as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the worker dyno. And now we can open the app. And before we start this up, I also wanna tail the logs. So, All right, so we're tailing our logs. I'm gonna clear that out and back to our app here. Okay, um, so I'm gonna turn this up to, let's say, let's say three seconds. And I actually want these requests to hit the database because that um, will consume those database connections, which is what we wanna do to reproduce the error. Um, and so first I'm going to fire a bunch of web requests. Let's now um, enqueue a bunch of background jobs. And then if we take a look at our logs that we were tailing, we will see some errors. Active record connection timeout error, could not obtain a connection from the pool within five seconds. So this is the same error that Josh ran into. Um, okay, so we've reproduced the error. Now, how do we figure out what is going on here and how to resolve it? Um, well, the first important clue is in this piece of the error message. Could not obtain a connection from the pool within five seconds. So, so it's not saying it can't make a connection to the database. Uh, Active Record is just saying it can't uh, get a connection from the pool. And the database pool for Rails and Active Record is configured in our database YAML. So let's take a look at that. So if we open our database YAML and we look at the pool setting, we can see that it is using the Rails max threads environment variable. And it defaults to five if that's not set. But if you remember when we created this Heroku app, we, we set Rails max threads to five to match what Josh was using. And we'll go into our um, Heroku app here and just confirm that. Rails max threads set to five. So what that means is um, both our web dyno and our worker dyno are going to use a connection pool of five. Now, if you remember, we have sidekick concurrency set to 15. What that means is we have 15, up to 15 sidekick jobs running at a time, running in threads, all contending for those five database connections. And if you've got some long queries running, long jobs running, inevitably you're going to hit this issue where um, you can't get a connection from the pool. So the solution, you could go a few different ways. Um, we could turn the sidekick concurrency down to five and we'd be processing fewer jobs. Um, 
we could crank Rails max threads up to 15, but we don't want to do that because we don't actually want to run 15 Puma threads. Um, another option is really when you look at this database YAML, it's not ideal um, that our worker dynos are using the same database pool size as our web dynos. Really, we want to be able to configure those independently. Um, but we can't do that right now because we're using Rails max threads to configure our database pool. So what I like to do here is put an explicit DB pool environment variable. And instead of setting that environment variable in Heroku over here, um, we're actually going to set it in our proc file when we launch each individual process. So any environment variable that uses the environment variables that you set on the Heroku side are going to be um, shared across each different dyno type. Your, your web dynos and your worker dynos, they're going to share those environment variables. And in this case, we want environment variables to be different for each of those processes. And setting that in your proc file when you're actually executing these commands is the place to do that. So here for our web process, we want db pool uh, to equal Rails max threads. And for our worker, we want db pool to equal our sidekick concurrency. And by doing this, it means that our uh, web dyno is going to have a database pool of five, and our worker dyno is going to have a database pool of 15, which is going to be plenty of connections for our 15 sidekick threads. So let's deploy this and see if it makes a difference for us. All right, we have successfully deployed. Let's hop back over and first let's take a peek at our database connections. All right, our database connections are back down to zero. Let's reload this page. All right. Okay, and I'm going to change these to three seconds just to make sure that we're really slamming this thing. Uh, I'm going to enqueue a bunch of jobs, enqueue a bunch of requests. Uh oh, and we're getting errors. Let's go take a peek at what these errors are. All right, we have a different error now. Now, PG connection bad, too many connections. So whereas before we were having an issue with our connection pool, now we're actually having a, an issue at the database level where we've got too many connections there. And that is because we are running Heroku's free database, which, only, which has a limit of 20 connections. Josh would not have run into this error um, because as he said in his tweet, um, he is his data his database allows for up to 120 connections. So I do think he would have been in good shape here. We are not because we're running on Heroku's free database. We've consumed all 20 connections. Um, so at this point, to resolve it for us, what we really would need to do uh, is go into our Heroku app and turn down our sidekick con concurrency. Theoretically, we could bring this town to 10 and and be safe, but um, during a deploy, you've got migrations that are running. You've got one-off dynos when you run um, Rails console and things like that. So I like to leave a little bit of buffer. I would actually turn this sidekick concurrency down to five um, just to be safe. Of course, if we want to scale this thing up, if we want to have multiple web dynos, multiple worker dynos, we're going to run into this problem. Um, so at that point, we definitely need to upgrade our database. So Josh, I hope this helps. Um, and I hope, I hope you all found this helpful as well. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like what you see here, uh, click the subscribe button. I'm going to put some more of these together. And if you want to save money and peace of mind on your Rails apps on Heroku, check out railsautoscale.com. See you next time.